Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. Today I will show you how to create a complete Flutter app that shortens URL. You can enter or paste your URL here and click shorten URL and it will pop up with the shortened URL. You can click on it and launch it in the browser. It may take a couple of seconds to redirect to the real URL. However, it will redirect eventually. Okay, now you can also copy it and you can close it and once you close it, it will clear it from the input field. Now before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. So let's get started. Alright, I have already created a skeleton project for our app. We have the main function, it has run app, inside it material app, and inside the home, a home, which is a stateful widget that has a scaffold, an app bar, and a container. Now in the pubspec.yaml, make sure to add HTTP and URL launcher. I will keep the links in the description. So let's go back to the main and let us start developing the app. Now instead of the container, we want in the body to have a column and inside this column, we want to have children property and the first property we want to have in the children, which is text form field. Now we want to decorate it a little bit. So we will have a decoration, we will have input decoration and we want to have some label text. So we will type label text and we would say enter your URL here for example and we want to have hint text and let's say in the hint text we want to say https colon slash slash www dot example dot com and after it we want to have some border so we will have underline underline input border which takes a side border border side sorry border side and this takes a border side now inside it we want to have some width let's say eight and we want to have a color let's say colors dot black or something okay and make this constant so it doesn't complain all right now after the text form field we want to have an elevated button but before it we want to have some spaces so we will add a const side box and inside the side box, we want to have a height, let's say 30. And then we want to have elevated button. And inside the elevated button on the inner press, we don't want to do anything right now. While on the child, we want to have const text. And let's say shorten URL. Now we want to create a text editing controller. So we control our text form field. We will say final controller is equal to text editing controller and we will pass this controller to this text form field I would say controller all right now what we need to do we need to create a method that convert the long URL to a short URL so down here we would create future and this method returns a string or null and let's call it shorten URL and it takes a named parameter let's say required string URL and it's async and now what we need to do we need to call an API and this API is actually convert our long URL to a short URL and return it to us so we will create a final and let's have it inside try catch and we will pr print the exception. Let's say print error, which is e dot to string. And inside the try, let's create final result is equal to HTTP. Now we don't have the HTTP, so make sure you import it up there. Import HTTP and let's say as HTTP. Okay, now down here, we would say HTTP dot post and the first thing we have to pass, we have to pass the URL, which actually takes a URI. So we will create URI dot parse because we want to parse a string. And inside here, I will paste this link. And this is the API we have to call to shorten our URL. Now we have to send a body also. And this body is actually dynamic map. And first it takes a string, then dynamic, and this takes a URL. And what URL we have to send, the URL we've taken from the user. 
don't forget a semicolon here and don't forget to await this as well okay now we want to check if the result is successful so we would say if result dot status code is equal equal to 200 which is a successful response now we want to create a json decoder so we will say final result or json result is equal to json decode and what do we want to decode we want to decode the result dot body all right now after we decode the result dot body we have to extract the returned url and return it to the from this method so we would say final all we can return it immediately we can return json result and this actually return a result underscore url the returned url we want now after the catch or inside the catch we can say return null and that's it that's how we shorten a url in Twitter. now inside this button whenever we click it we can say final shortened url is equal to await because we have to await it and don't forget an async here await what await shorten url and this takes a url now to get the text from the input field we can say controller dot text and let's print it to see if we are actually getting it or not and let's rerun our app to see if it's working or not all right now let's add some padding because it doesn't look nice at all okay in the in the column wrap it with a padding and let's say 24 and save it now to see how it appears okay it does appear better okay now let's paste a url to see if it's working and shorten url it should print it here yeah it does okay so uh, we are getting the shortened url now what we need to do instead of printing it we need to check if we need to check if this shortened url is different from null because this method shorten url returns either null or a string so we will check if it's not null we will show dialog and this dialog takes a context and it takes a builder and also this builder also take a context and here we have to return a widget so this widget we want to return is actually an alert dialog and inside the alert dialog it takes a title so we can say for example text url shortened successfully and we can make it con const here so it doesn't complain now after that we have to pass a content attribute and this content i will make it size box inside sorry size box inside this size box i will give it a height of maybe 100 and then after that i will have a child property and this child is actually a column and let me give you a little bit of space okay and this child is actually a column with capital c and let me just take the const from here and put it to the text instead okay this column takes a child children and the first child I want to have is row now inside the row I will also have children and the first child inside the row I want it to be a container so I will create a container now inside the container I want it to have a color and this color actually is colors dot the gray dot with opacity and let's make it dot two and after the color I want to have a child property and this child would be also const no without const this child is immediately text and this text is actually the shortened URL now since we want the user to click on it and if the user click on it we want to open the browser so we have to wrap this container with a widget and this widget actually is gesture detector and before the child we will have on tab property and and whenever the user click on this container we want to open the browser with the shortened url so let's make this async and let's check if this url is actually can be opened in the browser so we will say if await can launch launch what the shortened url and if it can we want to launch it so launch the shortened url and await this as well okay now after that after the container after the gesture detector what i want to do i want to have an icon button to make the user able to copy it and let me give you a 
space okay so to make the user copy it and the icon is actually icons dot copy and let's make it const so it doesn't complain sorry okay now inside here what we need to do we want to copy the shortened url to the clipboard and we want to show the user a snake bar that you have copied this url so we will type clip sorry capital c clipboard dot set data and this data is actually clipboard data and this takes text now what we want to copy we want to copy the shortened url and after that we would have then because after you copy it because it's async what we need to do we need to say scaffold so we show the user that you have copied it so scaffold messenger dot of context dot show snake bar and this takes a snake bar so we will have const snake bar and the content here is actually text and this text is url is copied to the clipboard and have a semicolon here okay don't forget that <laughs> okay now have a semicolon here and that's it for this row and this icon button now after the row i want to have some spaces or without spaces i want to have an elevated button and elevated button dot icon is okay so on the only press what we need to do we need to actually we need to clear the controller so we would say controller dot clear and then we would say navigation navigator dot pop so we close the pop up we created and the icon is actually icon icons dot close and the label is const text and we would say close and add a const to the icon we have to add a semicolon here and a semicolon here now let's run our app to see how it appears okay our app is running so let's paste a url and click shorten url and it does shorten it now you can copy it and it show you that url is copied to cl the clipboard and you can click on this and it will open it it may take a couple of seconds to redirect to the real url however it does redirect to and if you haven't subscribed there yet like me i haven't subscribed <laughs> make sure to subscribe <laughs> and follow us so you don't miss our content and you can also close it and once you close it it will clear the content in this text form field and thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video